Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series at the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Stacy Brody, and I am a reference and instruction librarian at Himmelfarb. Today, we will briefly talk about human participants' research resources at the George Washington University. Let's get started. By the end of this video, you will be able to list three resources to support human participants' research at GW. Human participants' research includes both social and behavioral and biomedical research. As you embark on your human participants research at the George Washington University, there are a few key resources to know about. GW's Office of Human Research, or OHR, our two institutional review boards, IRB, and city training. The GW Office of Human Research, OHR, is under the Office of the Vice Provost for Research. OHR provides guidance, education, and oversight for the protection of human subjects. As part of their mission, OHR supports the two institutional review boards, issues determinations on whether studies constitute human participants research, and provides access to tools, including templates and checklists. Reach out via phone or email or attend one of their informational office hours. OHR supports the two Institutional Review Boards, or IRBs, at the George Washington University. These boards approve, require modifications to, or disapprove of proposals for those human participants' research studies posing greater than minimal risk. IRB member lists and meeting dates can be found on the ORH web OHR website. Wondering what greater than minimal risk means? If you are interested in conducting human participants research, you must also complete appropriate training programs. These trainings cover a variety of important topics, including the types of studies and research designs and their corresponding levels of risk. At GW, we have access to city training. City training offers two modules, one for social or behavioral research and one for biomedical research. Depending on your research funder or type of research, additional trainings may be required. As you start your research, check out Himmelfarb for additional resources. We curate guides for responsible conduct of research, early career researchers, and more. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Human Participants Research Support Resources at GW. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library where you can also find associated slides and similar tutorials. If you have any questions about the material covered in today's session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us. My email is sbrody98 at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.